Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you with another jeans and boots video. Today, I have a regular fit jean from Lee Jean Company and we're gonna try it with eight different kinds of boots, with eight different kinds of toe shapes so that you can see whether or not this jean fits your needs. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. All right guys, I'm wearing the Lee Legendary regular straight jean right now. But before we get into trying them with all these boots, we gotta know what these are actually made up of. So let's get into the rundown. These are the men's legendary regular straight jean from Lee, and they are a regular fit with a straight leg. This is the McLean color, so it's a little bit of a darker blue. They are 99% cotton and 1% spandex or elastane, depending on what country you're from. It's a mid-weight denim on the lighter side of the middle weights. It has a YKK zipper fly. I chose the size 32-36. I'm usually a 32-34 if you wanna talk about traditional measurements, but when you're wearing cowboy boots, especially when you're trying to wear them with straight leg jeans, you might want to consider buying an extra long length, like just go two more than what you usually are. Hence, 3236 for me when I'm usually a 3234. And that's just something that I like to do for straight leg jeans in general. It goes a little bit different when I'm looking at boot cut or relaxed fit, but I just wanted you guys to know that so that you can consider buying the right size for yourself before we get too far into this thing. These jeans are made in Mexico and they're coming in at $48 on Lee.com. Real quick, I wanna tell you about the shirt that I'm wearing today because it features an awesome nonprofit organization, Saddles and Service. Saddles and Service is a veteran founded nonprofit whose mission is to provide mental health, wellness, and healing for active duty military, veterans, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, and their families by partnering with them with a rescued horse at no cost to them. So not only is Saddles and Service helping heroes, but they're also helping rescue horses in abusive environments who need a forever home and then having the heroes and the horses heal together. It is an extremely awesome organization. I think it's so cool. I recently bought this t-shirt from them to do what I can to support them. And I wanted to let you know about this awesome organization today in case you were looking for a worthy cause to give behind. You can learn more about Saddles and Service and find out how you can help too at saddlesinservice.org. Now it's time to try on these jeans with a whole bunch of different kinds of cowboy boots. Let's start things off with a roper boot and a roper round toe. This is an Ariat roper. As you can see, it's got that round toe there and a little bit shorter of a heel. And I feel like this is working really, really well. One thing that you gotta be careful of when you're buying jeans to stack, especially on some of these cheaper brands, is that on short boots like ropers and cheaper brands like Ariat, sometimes they have a really wide shaft here and that can cause the jeans when you're trying to stack to sag into the boot and it just kind of gives it a sloppy look. But I feel like these Lee jeans are doing a good job sort of going over the top of the boot there and I believe this is the widest shaft that we're gonna look at today. So if it's doing well with these, I have a good feeling that it's gonna look good with pretty much every other kind of boot. And of course, we're working our way from the most round to the most square. So next up is a U-toe. All right, here we have a Nakona shrunken shoulder bullhide boot with a U-toe. So as you can see, it's a little bit less round than what the Roper was. And we have a little bit more of a heel on this as well. It's also a taller boot coming in at around 13 inches tall and has a deep scallop here, which could hang some jeans up, but the Lee jeans seem to be doing a pretty good job with this boot. I actually really like the looks of this. I could see myself rocking this quite a bit. Let's talk about the weight of the denim. It's uh, pretty light. It is on the middle side, like it's not super light, but I don't think it's gonna be that durable either. It's definitely not as heavy as a Wrangler, at least the 13 MWZ, maybe kind of similar to what the Wrangler Retros are. Um, 
because it does also have that stretchiness that the Wrangler Retros sometimes have. So it feels decently durable, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet my life on it. Not when compared to a Wrangler or a Levi jean. Now let's try this jean with an Arto. Here we got another Bullhide boot. This one's from Tony Lama, and it does feature a Arto, which is a little bit more round than what the Uto was. They call this a medium round toe. And we also have just maybe a little bit taller heel or the same height. And again here, it's working really well. I feel like this works. Um, there's a little bit more space in the thigh than I would probably like, but I like how it comes down here towards the bottom of the boot. That opening is really good and it shows off a lot of the heel. And I like showing off the heel of a cowboy boot. I don't think that you should cover it up. I think it looks great. Now, let's try it with an even more round toe, the J toe. All right, here we have a BNV water buffalo calf boot with a J toe. So we're getting into that pointy territory now. And we got an inch and five eighths heel here as well. I love the way that this heel looks on this boot. And like I was just saying, I love the fact that these jeans allow it to shine out into the world. So I think this is looking good, but rarely, if ever, do I find a pair of jeans that don't work with this J toe. Now let's start to get into the square toe territory and try this jean out with a snip toe. All right, here's a Yeehaw Cowboy Cayman Tail Snip Toe in Black Cherry. And this is the first Black Cherry boot that we're looking at today. And I feel like it goes well with this McLean color. But I feel like Black Cherry pretty much can go with anything. That's the beauty of a Black Cherry boot. It's a great dress boot that goes with black, browns, blues, you name it. I think that it will probably even go well with greens. So Black Cherry for the win here. And uh, I think that this is going really well with this combination. This jean, this boot, working well for me. But let me know what you think down in the comments. And of course, you can see all of these boots in their own videos. I've linked them all up in the description. Awesome bitch moment right here. This is an Ariat Ultra Ventec boot with a narrow square toe. As you can see there, it's a great looking toe shape. And it also has a little bit taller of a heel at two inches. You also got a little bit of a spur ledge there. So spur ledges, if you're not wearing spurs, actually come in handy when you're trying to stack your jeans uh, because a lot of times jeans can just stop at that spur ledge and not wrap over the heel. I'm not a huge fan of the jeans wrapping over the heel uh, because like I said, I like to show that heel out to the world. Doesn't look like this one's coming down low enough or has a wide enough opening to reach that spur shelf on this boot anyways. So it sort of stops mid counter, which is cool too. Like I got no problem with that because you're still getting that stacked look where the jeans bunch at the bottom, which is a very popular look when it comes to wearing cowboy boots. I think this looks great. I think this is an awesome look and it definitely works if uh, this was your style. Now let's try it with a French toe. Here we have a Boulet 8502 Cayman belly boot. So this is a dress boot. Uh, actually my first exotic boot that I ever got. I uh, really liked the French toe and I chose the French toe to go after the narrow square toe because next up is the wide square toe, which is actually a wide French toe with a double stitched weld most times. This is looking great. I feel like I could rock this on a regular basis, a little bit more casual than a lot of events that these boots would work well at, uh, but that's just the nature of these jeans. They are on the more casual side. I wouldn't say that they are a jean that you would wanna work in heavy duty environments, but they are a nice lighter mid-weight jean that has some nice stretchy features to it uh, for some cool casual time or just hanging out or whatever. All right, here we have a pair of JBS lizard boots from Stetson with the wide square toe and a double stitch welt there. I think this looks great. I like this color combination and the stockman heel, a little bit shorter, a little bit more stockier and broad, but it's still working well with these jeans, especially if you stack it. I don't think that any of these boots would work. Well, maybe some of the more round 
ones, the French toe, the J toe. If you did go your real size, like if I was to do a 32, 34, I don't think that they would go very well with the wide square toe. All right, so that's all the boots that I have to try with these Lee legendary regular straight jeans. And I feel like they worked very well with all of them. It's not a jean that really blows me away look wise, but it does work pretty well with all of these boots. And I can see myself, you know, being comfortable in these jeans in casual situations. Like I said though, I don't feel like it has the weight and durability of a work jean. Let me know what you think of the Lee legendary regular straight jeans down in the comments. And what was your favorite pairing today? Toe shape boots and jeans. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if this is the first time that you've seen one of my videos. I do this stuff all the time and I would love to have you here. I'll see you guys around. Peace. Lee legendary jeans go with boots of all types. But they kind of look average yeah, to be just right. Yeah. Why don't you check out this video about a pair of Wrangler retro jeans that I did. Or I got a music video down here that I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.